Hey gang, welcome to the YouTube background video player tutorial. Right now we're at our demo site for our extensions for Joomla 2.5. So let's go check out the module. We're going to go to the module demos and select YouTube background video. And as you see here, this is our first demo and we've got a YouTube video or a scene from space playing in the background of our site. And so let's go ahead and check out the second demo. In the second demo, we have another video and we've turned the volume on. So you can hear bird sounds and things right here by the river. And then our third demo, we're going to show you how it looks with a video and the screen pattern. It has an overlay image, so just about any quality video that you put up with a nice little screen pattern like this, no matter the quality, will look really good. And now let's check out our fourth demo. And this is uh, in the CSS mode. We just use the CSS selector here. Here we've used the content area div ID, and we told to load in here. So if you want to have it inside of your template, not in the background showing, you can do that. And here in our fifth demo, we're going to show you a little more advanced stuff with the overlay. So we just created a Joomla article, and we put a div here. And in the div, we put this overlay with the word awesome, with it transparent in here. And now we're running a YouTube back background in it uh, to give it that awesome effect. And now let me show you a real-world example. This is from our hardcore sports shop. And as you see, we have it set here for a landing page. And the video is playing in the background with the screen. And this is our content from our template. And this makes a nice landing page for us. And we just set it as home. And so then when you go into the website, there's no more video. And here's the main website. So let's go back here to Joomla and let's check out how we did this in the back end. So we're going to go here to our module manager and we're going to select the YouTube background module. And we've put it in the debug position. You can use whatever position you want, but you really want to use something that's not used by your core template. So we just chose to put it in the de debug here. And this is very easy to configure. As you see, you've got your videos here. And yes, you can do multiple videos. They just have to be on each line. So you just go to YouTube, and you take the video ID, and you put it in right there. This is the CSS selector. So if I wanted to, say, put it inside of a div in my template, I would just say, like, div ID um, video. And then whatever div ID has video, it would be shown in there. And for the overlay image, you can select whatever image you want for the overlay, as well as the overlay high res, and that's just right in your core Joomla images folder. And you can set the position, if you want it to repeat or no repeat, uh, whatever the position is, you put it in right there. Um, the opacity here, that's for the video, if you want to fade it out a little bit. Mute, yes or no, here's the ratio, the quality, you've got default, small, medium, large, whatever you want. Optimize display, it will fit the video size and the window size. Uh, loop, you can have the video loop. Shuffle if you have more than one. Here's your volume, if you have the mute off, you can set the volume if you don't want it to be too obtrusive. And start position, this is really important. So let's say you pick a video off of YouTube that you like, but it's got some text and things in the beginning and you just really want to take a certain part of it. You can go ahead and set the start position. And as usual, in the advanced options, we have load jQuery, because this does use jQuery. Uh, load MooTools, yes or no. And your alternative layout, your module class suffix, your caching, your cache time. Generally, if you have other components that are loading jQuery, you can go ahead and disable that. Uh, you can load the local copy or the latest. And we put these in here just in case you have any kind of conflict with your template already loading MooTools or jQuery.